Welcome back. In the previous step, we executed the Hello World Bean service. However, we saw that the service was not getting invoked and we were printing something called observable in the console. Now, what is this observable thing and why are we not able to see the service being called on the network? Typically, if I call a HTTP service, it might really take a long time to execute. Some services might take 3 to 5 seconds to execute. If we do it synchronously, then what would happen? We call the service and we wait for the response. And in the meanwhile, the entire browser would hang. That's the reason why we should call all the HTTP services asynchronously. Now, observables is one of the best approaches to implementing asynchronous communication. What Angular does is it makes extensive use of observables as the interface for most of the asynchronous operations. So if you want to make an AJAX request using the HTTP module, Angular in turn makes use of this observable. The most important thing about observables is this is declarative in the sense that over here you can define what URL to call. We will later look at defining what should happen when I get a response back. What should happen when I get an error back? You can define all that as part of an observable. However, as we looked at earlier over here, the observable is not really executed. The request is not really executed until we do something called a subscribe. So basically, observable helps us to define, okay, this is the service I would want to call. This is the data I'm expecting back. This is the thing which I have to do when there is an error. But it does not really invoke the service until somebody subscribes to it. Let's look at what that means right now. So let's take this service. What I'll do is I'll do a dot subscribe. So what we are doing in here is we are subscribing to this. Let's save this. There are things you can do in the subscribe. We'll talk about it a little later for now. Let's do a subscribe and say get welcome message. Awesome. You'd see an error coming up. It says observable because we are doing a console.log. After that, we are executing the service and it says access to HTTP request at from so and so on is blocked by course policy. No access control allow origin header is present on the request resource. And you can also see the details of the HTTP error response. The great thing is if you go to the network tab now, let's expand this further so that you can clearly see it. Let's clear the old stuff out and let's click it again. Now you'd see that the request is executed, but we are not really getting a response back. It's giving us an error response back. The response is empty. There is no data present here. Why is it happening? Think about this. I'm calling from localhost 4200. Which URL am I calling? Localhost 8080. So this is like one web server calling another web server. You're calling a service which is hosted on a different server from your front end application. And by default, Spring Boot prevents these kinds of requests. So we need to tell Spring Boot to allow requests from a specific URL. I need to tell Spring Boot, okay, hey, I know you are secure, you would want me to be safe, but I would want to allow requests from localhost 4200. How can I do that? The way you can do that is by going to our Hello World controller and adding a simple annotation in at cross origin. So I love requests from other domains. And the best thing is to specify exactly which domains you'd want to allow the requests from. I'd want to allow requests from only this specific URL. So only requests from this specific URL will be handled properly. So I made the change and because we have dev tools installed, the change is automatically picked up. If the change is not automatically picked up for you, just restart the server. Now, if I go here, let's clear out the console. Let's clear this out as well and say get welcome message. And now you'd see that observable is printed, but there is no error. 
and if I go to the network tab, you would see that the hello world bean message is called and I am getting a response back. So what is happening now? As soon as I subscribed to the observable, the request is executed. The interesting thing is if I call subscribe a number of times, I am now calling it three times. What would happen? Let's clear the consoles out. Actually, I am clearing the network right now. I will create the console as well. Now, if you do get welcome message, what would happen? On the network, you would see that there are three requests which are executed. The wonderful thing about observables is the fact that just by calling subscribe, you can execute the same service again and again and again. So if this errors out, let's say this service called errored out and you would want to retry. With observables, it's very, very easy. You just need to call it again. You just need to subscribe to it again. This would retry the entire service call. Now, I'll remove the unnecessary calls. We just want to subscribe to it once. But what we want to do is we would want to pick up the data from here. So we would want to get the response and we would want to show a message on the screen. Let's focus on that in the next step. Until then, bye-bye.